Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a DIY do-it-yourself project making a storage container that's got a vacuum seal to use with your food saver. If you're interested in that, stay tuned, we're going to learn all about it. Alright, you can see on this one I've got my black forest ham in here and there's a little vacuum, little vacuum sealing and I've got a pretty good indent going on so this container was a little bit weak to use so we're going to talk about that a little while but we're just going to put that away. Alright, we're going to need a few things for this project. Uh, but before we get into that, let's talk about the food saver. So I got this for Christmas, thank you mom and dad. And if you guys got one as well, you probably did the exact same thing I did and started looking at the cost of bags and containers and all this sort of stuff. And I found on Amazon uh, four containers that have a vacuum container. Now not this one, this is the one, one of the ones that I made. But four containers can run you like $50, $60. And I was like, I'm not paying that. Uh, I mean, I'm a pretty economic person, or as my wife likes to call me, the cheapest man in the world. But um, I was like, I can make one myself. I can figure this out. So I racked my brain trying to figure out where I could get a little vacuum seal that would work with the food saver attachment. You can see that it goes right over top of there and sucks all the air out. This one's had its air sucked out for about three days. It has not leaked a bit. So um, works super, super well. All right, we're gonna need a few things to do this today. We're gonna to need, obviously, a empty container that we're gonna uh, talk about in a little bit. You're gonna need a drill. I'm using a cordless drill. It doesn't matter if it's cord cordless, whatever. You're gonna need a drill bit, the size we're gonna talk about in a little bit. I'm using a, a little bit, get it? I'm gonna use a 5 8 bit on the, the container. You're gonna need a little lighter. At least I'm gonna need a lighter. You may not need one, but I'm gonna need one. We're gonna need some glue to glue the little piece onto the container. And I'm uh, gonna be using this super glue. Now, you can't just buy any sort of super glue. You have to buy uh, the super glue that's made for plastic, all plastics. And it comes with this little activator pen on the side here. We're gonna show everybody how to use that as well. But you can't use regular glue, it won't hold up. And you can't use silicone or something like that because it doesn't stick. And the last thing you're gonna need is a coffee bag. And um, the reason you need a coffee bag, and it's not because this video is incredibly boring and you need to stay awake, it's because the little coffee bags have these little pokey hole things here, and that's actually got a vacuum seal in it. In fact, it has this vacuum seal in it. Actually, it's not this one, because this one was off a Tim Hortons bag. Um, it's a different seal, I've, I looked at it, but it'll work just fine, so we're gonna go with that. And of course, you're gonna need a food saver. If you don't have a food saver, I'm not even sure what you're doing here. Just watching a guy with a chicken hat, watch, doing a video, how's it going? Uh, maybe stay tuned, there's probably a bunch of other stuff happening. Anyways, not to digress, we are going to continue on. All right, so uh, the first thing we're gonna do, let's show you this little magical piece because some people have tuned in just for that. Um, we're gonna open this bag up. Now, I've already dumped all the coffee out of this bag. Uh, I sealed it into another food store container. Container. Anyways, you can see inside this bag there's this little plastic piece. And that is our magic, folks. That is going to let us make a vacuum sealed storage container. So we're going to peel this out of the bag. You don't have to be pretty. You can just yank it right out. And you can see this one's a little different looking. It's got this brown piece in it, but it's going to work just fine. Once I get it out of here, you just got to yank it out. And then it doesn't really matter if it's not cleaning up very well. We can clean that up a little later. Um, you got to probably chew on it with your teeth. That's how your mom told you to not do it. But, you know, you can do it however you want. Anyway, it's got a bit of tin foil around it. We're just going to shove that to the side. And you can see that there's these little brown... This one's a little different. It's got a, a slidey brown thing that spins inside. It's got some holes on the bottom. The one that I've used from another bag, it looks a little different. And the bottom doesn't have a brown thing. It, it has a little white little uh, filter thing on it. But this is going to work just fine. Just fine. I wonder if this pops out of here. Let's see. This pops right out. I don't think it does. Oh, it does. Let's see what's in there, shall we? What is it? What is this magic? Did I break it already? Oh, it's out. How does that even seal? I don't even get it. Ooh, it seals. Sucked on it and it sealed. Wow. So I don't know how it works, but it works. So we're going to use it. All right. Wasn't sure if that was going to work. 
yeah, that'll make the blooper real, or I'll just leave it in. Whatever, doesn't matter. Throw in the bag in the garbage. Don't need it anymore. All right. So the reason the reason why these work so good. Sorry about all of that, people. Is that you've got it basically fits perfectly over the the valve ceiling to to work with this. So it should be like perfect. All right. Next step. We're gonna move the glue to the side because we don't need that right now. We won't need the lighter for a little bit. We're gonna put this one to the side as well. Put it behind the counter. Now, if you notice the container we're using, and we're gonna talk a little bit about it, it has a rubberized seal going all the way around it. And that is good because if air gets out or in, obviously you don't have a vacuum. And I bought these ones for $2 at Walmart on clearance, and I thought they were gonna be very rigid enough. I pushed on them and everything, and I squished them, and they're very rigid, but under full vacuum, they do squish in quite a bit. There's only about an inch to an inch and a half of space once they squish in, but for deli meats and stuff like that, it still works perfect. Now you'll notice on this one, there is some writing. It says lock and lock or something, and on the bottom here, it's got some other writing to do uh, only use not reheatable for cooking in. Anyways, I'm um, on here. Anyways, did I say anyways a lot? I wasn't really sure, but anyways, <laughs> said it again. Um, we're going to use this. So I'm going to just loosen the lid here for a second, and we're going to pick a spot to drill the hole. Now, you want to use a smooth area, so we're going to use this smooth area that's this, got this biggest space in between the little dot inside the middle and these, um, these words out here. So I'm going to put it probably right here. Now, you can see that from my valve, it's actually quite a bit, if I flip it over where the part that's going to fit in goes, you can see that it's actually a little bit well, it might be perfect. This one actually still, it's a little bit too small. So we're gonna still need the lighter. I'm gonna show everybody how to do that in a second. But for now, we're going to use the 5 8 drill bit. And we're gonna put it in our drill and we're gonna make a hole. Whoa, we need to open that the right direction. More blooper reel. I guess it's not really a blooper, but whatever. All right, now this you gotta go slow on because if you screw this up, you've wrecked a container and you need another one. And it won't take long before you spend like a lot of money on containers and then you should have just bought a food saver one off the internet on Amazon. Anyways, we're trying to make one for two bucks. So here we go. We're gonna pick a spot in the middle where there's smooth areas all around from uh, beside, we're gonna be away from this writing and away from this dot. We're gonna go right in the middle and you gotta go super, super slow. You don't wanna go uh, fast. You want to, you can go fast, just don't push hard. I guess that's what I wanted to say. Just don't push hard, otherwise you're gonna like cluck it all up. Um, yes, I said cluck it up. Uh, all right, here we go. So I've already put a little scratch in there so you can kind of see it, but I'm gonna be drilling right through that. So it shouldn't be too bad. We're gonna start it up. I'm uh, probably not gonna talk during it until we get this little first point through. Okay, so you can see that it went through the first part and it actually binded and made a mark, which is okay because that's where we're putting the hole anyways. So we're gonna back it off a little bit. We're just gonna spin it till it till it beads through or burns through and then we're gonna hold it again. Now we're gonna do the rest of this very slow. You're gonna see that it's gonna make a line all the way around. Just like that, you can see there's a circle happening. I'm not sure if the camera's picking it up good, but we'll tilt it. And again, you're not wanting to push hard. You wanna go slow, controlled. If you go too hard, you're gonna go bang through the bottom, through the table. Your wife's gonna come home from her holiday. She's gonna say, what in the HD double L hockey sticks did you do to my counter? You drilled right through it. Don't do that. Probably should be using something on it, but I'm not gonna. We're just gonna go for it. And you're gonna do um, slight press down motion, very controlled. And as soon as it goes through, you're gonna stop. All right, you can see there, I almost went through both counters, the counter and the floor, but I didn't. And you can see that it's a pretty pretty good cut. There's a little bit of burr on the edges. We're gonna just put this in and spin it, clean that up a little bit, and we are done with the drill. Put the drill away, cause it falls on the floor and makes a huge dent in the floor, and you have another explanation to do when your wife gets home from her trip. All right, you can see in my food container, I've got some plastic bits. We're gonna open up the garbage can, throw away those bits. Bad, bad container. Okay, so let's check out how we did. We have this valvey thing from our coffee bag, and we have our lid. And you can see it does not fit at all with the 5 8 bit. I think 11 16 would have been perfect, but I don't have one of those. So we are doing the melty, melty, squishy, squishy, use a lighter method to do this. 
Again, don't burn your house down because if your wife comes home and there is a burnt house, it will not be a good situation. All right, this is cleaned up as good as it needs to be. Now, what we're gonna do, I'm just gonna explain what we're gonna do. You can see that I have a lighter here and we're gonna, we're gonna spark it and we're gonna have the flame coming through the hole. And all I wanna do is heat the outside ring up. I do not wanna burn anything. I don't wanna, I wanna melt it, but I don't wanna create any blackening or anything like that. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna hold my lighter underneath and I'm just gonna rotate it around and around. Um, the best angle, I'm not sure for this, let's see. You can see I'm just gonna roll it around and around. And I don't wanna to touch the flame against the edge. I just wanna go in the inside to create warmth by the edges. And you can see that that top part is getting a little soft, so that's good. I'll move my flame over to the right. And you just wanna warm all of these edges up equally. And we're gonna quickly stick our piece into the hole and hopefully we'll have enough meltage to go in. This will make a form-fitting seal, not a seal, but a form-fitting piece. So take our vacuum sealer, make sure you go from the same angle, push it in. And I'm gonna push quite hard and it's not quite there. So we're gonna continue on with our heating and spinning. Just take your time, there's no rush. You, you don't wanna go to do this too fast. I know for, for video's sake, you want me just to pause the video and get it done and shove it in so you can move on to the next idiot making containers with his for his food saver. But uh, we're just gonna go slow and uh, take our time. All right, go from the top again, push it in. And you can see now we're getting close. Ow, burn my finger there a little bit. That's gonna make the blooper real. But I think I'm good. I'm pretty good on the top edge. Um, I can still spin it, but it's definitely through. That's where I burned my finger. Not too bad though. Only a, I don't know, first or second or whatever you call it. I think it's like the ninth degree because I've burned my fingers like four times today. Anyways, uh, anyways, I said anyways again. I like to go back and count how many times I say anyways or um on my, on my videos. All right, so you can see that if I turn it this way, it's very tight. The nice thing with these little, this little vacuum sealer, I don't know, I even didn't explain this to you, is that it's tapered like so perfectly on the side that goes on the outside to create a absolutely perfect um, spot, not a spot, a perfect size hole, I guess I would say, for the, uh, for the, the spinny thingy. Anyways, anyways, said anyways again, now I'm counting on myself. I'm gonna scrape off this a little better, see if I can get this off while we're, while we're waiting probably could go for a, a coffee or something and come back and I'm still gonna be picking at this thing. But uh, I could always, oh, there we go. Yeah, oh yeah. Oh, I'm getting it now. Maybe I should show everybody on camera. All right, boom, boom. Okay, I'm hoping this works. This looks like way different than the other valvey things that I had. So we're crossing our fingers. Crossing our fingers and not making a dud video. I'm gonna put the uh, top back on just so I can, just so I can hold this. And right now, obviously, there's no vacuum seal whatsoever. Now, our glue. This is kind of an important step. So we're gonna open up our glue here for everybody to, to see what's going on. And it consists of an activator, which is a, um, just basically like a pen almost. And I'll just turn around this, this package for the barcode, everybody can kind of see that. And it's a special glue, it says um, all plastics. So regular super glue will work for certain plastics, but this stuff will work on every plastic. And since we don't know what the little valve is made of, and we don't know what the container is made of, get one that works for all plastics. Now for the instructions for this thing, it says that you are to take your little penny pen thing, and wherever the glue is gonna go, you want to mark up. So we're gonna just do this close on camera. We're just gonna go on the edge, first of all doing, and this doesn't show anything, it's kind of just a uh, clear liquid that's going on here, but it's very, very light. It's just like a marker would be. You can see a sheen, but uh, that's about it. So we're gonna go all the way around it with this activator, and this is probably pretty important. You don't wanna go fast on this, you wanna take your time. I know that we're already in 14 minutes, 15 minutes into this video, maybe 14, don't know. And then on the edges this side as well, we're gonna do a bead around this side. And it says to let it dry for 60 seconds. So once we're, once we're done our bead all the way around, we are going to put it down and let it dry. Put it on top of the package there. Now we're gonna do the exact same thing to the top of the lid. We are going to just take our marker little thing 
and just mark the whole edge. We're not going to go inside with this one um, too much. We're not. We can probably go a little bit just on the the edge like this, but we don't need to get onto the inside. I'm not sure if you want to have this touching your food or not. So we're just going to leave this on the outside for now, and we're going to let that dry for 60 seconds. So what do we do? Do we talk about something for 60 seconds? Do we pause the video for 60 seconds? Do I tell you a story? Do I sing you a song? I have no idea. Do I just stand here and rattle on? We are going to do it. Actually, while it's, while it's drying, while that is drying, that's not the glue, that's just the activator, we're gonna demonstrate the container on the one that I did. So to get this open, you can see once you open the flaps, it ain't coming open. It is stuck on there. We're gonna take our handy dandy butter knife. These are perfect because they have this groove right here and you just set it in there and twist and listen to this. Oops, I will break my finger off. I did hear a little bit of a hiss, but listen. Oh, I heard a couple little, I heard a couple little hisses. Is it still stuck down? Stab me stuck. All right, there we go. All right, you can see that it's got quite the concave on it, but it did hiss, there was a vacuum, and I will demonstrate how to use this thing on here. So you can see, I'll just put it over top of the valve, hit the accessory button twice. Did that take 60 seconds? I have no idea. Listen for this. Love that noise. All right, you can see it sucked in just as good as it was before, and I didn't hear the, the hiss I wanted to hear last time, so we're gonna un we're gonna release it to hear the hiss, just because it was there, but nobody heard it because I slipped with the knife. Y'all hear that that time? Anyways, anyways, said anyways again. Put this one aside. That should be enough time uh, for the activator to do its thing. So now. Next step, we're gonna use the super glue. Now, I don't know if this is any, any special super glue. It says plastic super glue on the, on the package, but um, from this point, since the activator did, has done its work, I have no idea if it's special. So what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna put a bead of glue all the way. Start squeezing until it comes out. There you go, you can see the bead coming out. We're gonna bead all the way around. Now, don't be stingy even though you're probably stingy like me the glue if you don't use enough you're gonna have leaks so don't use too much because it's gonna drip everywhere I got something happening on there take that off little piece of silicone silicone I don't know that's probably some of the stuff that popped out of it all right squish that on there again I probably should have cleaned that off a little better but this will be fine. If it doesn't work, just go buy another bag of coffee. Boom, boom. Okay, so I've got that beaded all the way around. I'm not sure if the camera can see it. And we're just gonna drop it in that hole. We're gonna spinny, spinny, flippy, flippy. Drop it in. And you can see that glue gushed out the sides. Now, I don't know if the camera can see it, but there's glue all the way on the outside. Now what you want to do is for an added support is take your super glue and just do a bead around the edge now. So you're just going to basically squeeze and just make a bead of glue, a constant bead all the way around. Like that. You don't want to go too crazy with it because then the food saver nozzle won't fit over top of it and make a nice seal. Um, but the way that I've done it is just perfect. I'm gonna put a cap on this so I put a cap on my glue, clean off whatever the gunk was that was on there originally. Oh, and that was smart, bonded my skin together. Wife comes, oh man, what did I do? How many bloopers can one make in this, in this episode? Now this, look it, look it, look at this. Look at this. I know what, I, I'm not a smart man, but I know what love is. That's my motto. Holy, for cluck sakes. Did I just mess this glue bottle up? Let's see. No, works perfect. All right, putting the cap back on. I got feathers coming out of my fingers here. 
Not sure what's going on. All right. Thanks for thanks for watching. Being patient, everybody. All right. So. <laughs> Bye. All right. Woo! Pop that off. This is just epic. All right. I have glue on my fingers. Fantastic. They feel like warts now, but they're not. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. I said anyway, not anyways. Um, we're gonna let this dry. This needs to dry overnight. So there's not really any way that I could, I mean, you could stay overnight with me and we could have a really long video, but in the interest of, well, I don't know, in the, in the interest of not doing that, um, we're just gonna leave it sit here for 24 hours. I'm gonna come back and we're going to finish this with the demo on this valve because I'm hoping this valve works. It's a little different than the other one. In fact, I'll show you guys on the other ones. I'm sure that most of the people now have have uh, clicked off and are like no longer no longer on the uh, no longer watching. But on the back of this one, you can see there's like a little white filter thingy, and on the front there's this little spinny dialy thingy. So it's completely different than than this guy. But they all do the exact same thing, so they're all going to work. Um, there is a bit that there is one thing you can do if you don't get a perfect seal after this dries. If you notice you're still getting a leak. Um, you're gonna do another bead of super glue. Uh, on the two that I made earlier, the first one I made, I didn't use enough glue and I had a little bit of a leak. And then the second one I used more glue and it had no leak and had to do nothing. On the first one, all I did was I did another bead around it, let it dry a day and it was perfect. Hey everybody, welcome back. So it's been about 45 minutes, almost an hour, and I've noticed that it's basically dry. So although I would probably still wait for 24 hours, in the interest of getting the video finished and uploaded, we're gonna go for it and hope that this brown seal holds. So snap it together. You can see that it's nice and non-deformed, and when I squeeze it, you can hear the valve letting air out. All right, so we'll go ahead and put this over top. Uh, just right over top, you can see there's some glue on the edges, but you can get that food saver attachment right around. Hold it tight, push the accessory button twice, or once. <laughs> Little squeak, there we go. All right, and you can see we have a concave container, concave container. Um, with a vacuum. Now let's take a listen. If you listen real careful, can't hear nothing. Put it over here on this camera. Can't hear anything. Nothing. And just to super test it, you take a glass of water and you basically just pour it right on top of your container. And you just want to cover. You can go right over top of it, right over top of that, and check for leaks. All right, so I'm going to move this camera down. Let's see if I can do this without creating a huge problem. Uh, apparently it's gonna create a huge problem. That's ah, not too bad. All right, let's go see. Down low. Now, can we see the water on there still? Yes. Look for dripping inside. There is nothing. Uh, maybe from this side. Whoops, water spilling everywhere. That was a fail. Anyways, I guess, I don't know if you guys can see anything. There's no water inside there at all. That seal is perfectly holding up. Um, I can no longer spin the little brownie thing on the top. It's not spinning, obviously, because it's vacuum sealed. So there you have it, folks. You have a vacuum sealed container and a huge mess on your counter. Put that water back in the bowl. Um, I better clean that up before that goes on the floor. Anyways, thanks for watching, everyone. <laughs> have an awesome night, and we'll see you next time on another video. God bless. Bye, everyone.